Hey folks, welcome back to Smoking Hats, uh, Dark Souls walkthrough. Um, what we're going to do in this one is take out Gwendolyn. Uh, so yeah, a, a, a quick note before you do this guys, um, before I go in and take him out. Um, if you do this, you will lose this covenant. So, And apparently this covenant has quite a good sword at the end and it's quite good for PvPing as well. But if you do take him out, uh, on the flip side of PvP, um, you can go to the top of the stairs, like the whole area will turn black. You can go to the top of the stairs when you're in human form and you'll probably get invaded by the Dark Moon, so yeah. But you can be invaded by one or two people at the same time, so be careful. Um, also, the Firekeeper that has the other bonfire in Anor Londo, you know, the first one when you came in, she will become hostile and attack you near that area now. But if you do kill her, you get a firekeeper soul. So yeah, I'm going to try and take this boss out and then go take her out for the firekeeper soul. Only reason I'm doing it is for uh, the uh, the souls, basically. Um, because once I finish this playthrough, I'm not planning on using it for anything in particular. So yeah, let's uh, head in and just do it. So yeah, here we go. And again, it's an optional boss, you don't have to do this. Why would a blade of the dark moon trespass it upon the great lord's tomb? Because I want to. Because you're going down. Okay, okay. If that's the way it's got to be. Here we go. Now, ah, there we go. Yes, as soon as you get close to this boss, uh, they teleport away. Now, what you want to do is use the sides for cover. Oh, that one you can't, you can't block that. Wow. Those ones, yeah, you can. The big one will go through the pillars, but the oh, damn it! See what I mean? And we've got these arrows as well. God damn. Do you want to kind of run side to side? Wow! Damn it, I missed. Oh. So you kind of just want to run side to side. Um, when she goes up like that, she's using the arrows. That one's the... No, it's not. Oh, damn it. Oh, I can't believe I managed to avoid that. Okay, so yeah, just keep pushing forward, she'll keep teleporting, this is basically all you can do, all the way up. Um, oh, that was close. And that. And that. There she goes. Or he, or whatever, damn it! The big one's quite easy to dodge, the smaller one is not so easy to dodge. Like, you, you, that, you know, if you're moving side to side there, it basically does not hit you. Right, here we go, this is it. Oh, one more hit. And we'll have him. Her, whatever. There's the ones that are quite hard to dodge. You want to get in behind the pillars for that one, damn it. I didn't realise that. Yep, here's the arrows coming. I think we should have him next hit. There we go. Swathed in dark, an eternal curse upon thee. Yeah, yeah. I feel kind of bad doing that. So. So yeah, I kind of just want this for the achievement. You get an achievement for joining the Covenant as well. There's two, there's two ways to trigger that fight, basically. You can, you know, attack the big uh, jubblied woman up the top. Or, um, you can, uh, yeah, just cross the fog gate when you have the ring and it lets you in. Either way, uh, what do you get here? Sunlight Blade. Okay, so you get a spell. Um, oh, there's another chest here.
Oh, some uh, some items as well. Didn't know about this bit in here that you got items and stuff. So it's a a good little bonus. It'd be good if the Dark Moon Blade was in here, but I'm guessing it's not gonna let you have that unless you do it the the proper way. Well, there's nothing even in that chest. Okay, never mind. Maybe it lets you in here uh, once you've got so far up the. Uh, <laughs> far up the covenant ranks but anyway I just wanted to do it to uh, show you guys and yeah I want the souls I'm not planning on doing much covenant PvPing etc um, it should be dark out here now um, it should have turned to night outside instead of daylight no it's not gonna do that usually it turns to night I'll see if I can find the uh, firekeeper um, Women as well to show you guys that because you get a firekeeper soul from that and then you can reinforce your Estus flask again. Why is it still daylight? I think you've got to go speak to the apparition that's up the top to uh, turn it to night, no? I don't know. It should be night now, guys. Usually when you've defeated Gwyndle and it turns to night. But anyway, never mind. We'll uh, we'll go up and see if we can find the firekeeper and take the firekeeper soul. And then yeah, that's pretty much. I think that's everything I wanted to cover before I complete this game. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, yeah, I mean, if I think of anything else, I'll uh, I'll do it anyway. But. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanted to cover, um, so, you know, in the next video I think I'll just be heading to the Demon Ruins. Um, I don't think there's anywhere else I can go, I can do or go now, so, yeah, we'll just head to the Demon Ruins and then we'll get this game wrapped up. That's pretty much it. But I want to find this Firekeeper and kick her ass. I want to kick her ass and I want to take her Firekeeper because she becomes hostile anyway, so... Uh, yeah. I don't know if she'll maybe be hostile then because it's still daylight. I'm pretty sure I heard something that's got to turn to night before that you get the, you know, the hostile part. Because the Iron Giants, you know, they're supposed to be gone now. Um, and it's supposed to be night and then they're supposed to be different enemies. But we'll find out. So yep, there we go. Yeah, it was me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Jesus, what's she doing? That's not good. That's the sunlight blade, isn't it? It's pretty easy to be honest. And she rolls like a truck. There we go. Give me your soul. There we go, Firekeeper Soul, so yeah, just need to take that to... Oh no, yeah, and that bonfire's non-existent now, guys, so... Yeah, not be resting at that bonfire anymore because the Firekeeper has been destroyed at it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll head back to the chamber where the big... The big woman is, with the jubblies, and uh, I'll see if I can't trigger the night time. Because it, sh it shouldn't be daytime. Once you've killed Gwendolyn, Anne Orlando's supposed to fall into darkness. And, uh, yeah, that's that, basically. Falls into darkness, and the all the enemies change. All the uh, massive giant golem things, tower, metal, whatever you want to call them, they go, they disappear. And uh, Dark Moon members... Uh, they spawn inside that building, and they're the only enemies in there now. Yeah, and I'll show you exactly where you will get invaded if you have done it this way. If it is night time, it needs to be night time to be invaded, I know that much. So I'll show you where that is. Come on, it's so slow. 
This seems like a busy server. There's a lot of messages on the floor and a lot keep, kept appearing there. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but there was a lot of messages just appearing. Need saying. Humanity. Need humanity, need humanity, left ahead. Looks like someone's needing help here. I might try and give them some help. Oh, you missed. Oh, I can't. I won't be able to be summoned because I've already destroyed the boss in this area. Is that right? No, no, that doesn't work like that. God damn it. Wow. Let me move. God damn. Same people were needing humanity and needing someone to help them. I'll maybe go down and try that. I don't know if I'm gonna if I turn it to night here, it's pretty much gonna change the area. Like, um I won't be able I don't think I'll be able to be get summoned to help other people once that's happened. That aren't in the same situation as myself with the night time, but we'll see if we can't trigger that by going up here. Plus I wanna use this we need to use this bonfire anyway. I wanna rest up. Right, okay, uh, let's, uh, yeah, well, she's still here, I don't understand why. Thou hast filled the Lord best in deep night, I beg of thee. So we have... thou... Alright, so there you go, you can actually take on... Huh? So there you go, you can actually destroy Gwendolyn without turning it to night, if you don't want it at night. You, so this is, you do need to, you need, you need to attack her to turn it to night. It's her that needs attacked, so yeah, I didn't know that. There you go, so we don't even need to turn it to night. I don't even think I'll turn it to night, I mean, you don't get any souls for destroying her. So, yeah, we'll leave her be. But if you if you do destroy her, Gwendolyn tells you to go down and face him, her or whatever in a battle, so uh yeah. Mmm st start putting the dexterity up so I get her weapon up. But yeah, that's us guys, so yeah, that's it. Next one we'll just head to the demon ruins then I think. Uh, there's not much else left to do. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next video, and as always, goodbye!